Vigilante wins in here with a very simple question. That is, what in the world is going on, with Ryan Garcia? I have been inactive on this channel for about a month. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII on my other channel, and I didn't even know if I wanted to do a sports channel, but when sports and conspiracy theories smack up against each other, like in this story, I have to say something. Um, I'll probably put out another video on AJ and the Ganyu and another video about where I'm at with sports. And uh, I'll, I'll do that at a later time. If you do like the content we do here, I'd appreciate a sub. We're very close to 300 at 290. So if you can sub, if you see this video, I'd appreciate it. So Ryan Garcia has had an interesting week from the alleged hacking of his Instagram and on the Instagrams talking about Baphomet, Baphomet, we're going to slit your throat, allegedly. And I hope, you know, I can say all these things on this platform because we know how sensitive this platform has become. It's more sensitive than uh, broadcast TV at this point. Um, but lots of crazy threats. He went on the Internet and then said that he didn't have access to his money. He didn't have access to his cards. We know he's going back and forth with. Oscar De La Hoya, who is his manager ever since the tank fight. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, and so we know he's had issues with that. We also know that when, how do I say this on this platform, there was a little bit of controversy about Target and some of their marketing towards kids um, and some of the, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put it on this platform and get uh, and not get in trouble. How about that? But if you look back, Ryan spoke out about that. And Ryan is a guy who already had Gatorade and other sorts of endorsements. And he spoke out about how they were marketing certain things towards kids as far as gender goes. That's probably the best way to put it. Um, and so we've seen Ryan, and he, he's talked about Jesus and, and, and things like that. And at the same time, Ryan also has a tattoo of a snake on his arm and an all seeing guy. On his arm, because again, this is conspiracy stuff. We, we, there's no way to, you know, when when Baphomet Baphomet is on someone's Instagram, and then as we get into the new revelation of Ryan claiming to have been an, at the Bohemian Grove while uh, again children were being assaulted. We'll use that term. Um, this is just a crazy story. The only thing I can compare it to is Kanye West. Um, was a few years ago and he him talking about his mother being sacrificed and Bill Cosby's son being sacrificed and um, uh, Michael Jordan's dad being sacrificed. That's the only analog I can find. Only time I can find there. Yeah, there's a similar situation where a very high profile celebrity is talking about stuff that you usually hear on truth during conspiracy channels. And on top of all this, Devin Haney is supposed to fight Ryan Garcia, what, next month or the month after? Very soon. I don't know if that fight is still happening. You would imagine not with all this crazy controversy Ryan is going through. Um, I know there's going to be a segment of people because, uh, you know, as I saw on a comment of Jay Marvelous, who's a guy I'm a fan of, uh, secret societies ain't secret no more. So there's going to be a segment of people who are rocking with Ryan and understand what he's saying and believe what he's saying. And then there's going to be a segment of people who are like, this sounds crazy. This sounds made up. You, you're having a mental health crisis. What? Not what she probably is on top of it. Um, and so I understand that. I understand both sides. There's going to be some people that this is all crazy. This is all Ryan making excuses or whatever the hell you think. But man, this world is crazy. Um, a lot of people got excited and got um, crazy about the Cat Williams story earlier in the year. When Cat Williams went on Club Shay Shay and talked a lot of things he talked. So this we're in a different world. We're not in a world where um, you say something about a secret society. What is that? We're in a world where a lot of people accept it. And I am of those people. I, I, I do believe in conspiracy theories. One of the oldest videos on this channel is me analyzing John Todd, who was a guy who allegedly worked for the music industry and was a witch and was talking about how rock and roll was witchcraft and a lot of stuff he said was corroborated. Now I did also question whether or not he was, you know, true because some of the stuff he said wasn't corroboratable, but it was from the seventies. So what do you do? Um, going back to Ryan, man, I don't even know what to say about this story. Um, do I believe him? You know, like I said, I do, I do believe 
that there are secret societies and they have all sorts of initiation rituals. And I believe Ryan was supposed to go another step up and he's cracking. Um, we saw Britney Spears crack years ago. We all were made to think she's crazy. And then it comes to find out, you know, she doesn't even own herself and her father owns all her stuff. And it was a conservatory. I may have that phrase wrong, but she doesn't even have power of attorney over herself. Um, it does happen with these celebrities because a lot of them, unfortunately, are just puppets bred in circus to distract us from what's really going on in society. Um, so I, I don't know what to say about Ryan. I wish him the best. I hope that he can get through this. He did the interview uh, talking about the Bohemian Grove stuff with uh, Andrew Tate, a guy who I actually have covered on my other channel, a guy I'm not the biggest fan of and who i think has connections to the cia he's admitted his father was in the cia um i know um what's the guy common sense skeptic is pushed back at that and common sense skeptic is a, a very good channel if you want to see coverage of andrew tate and how uh his trafficking situation how serious those charges are and how serious the allegations are and how valid the allegations are i would check out common sense skeptic but i would actually push back at his pushback i actually think that his dad did have some CIA ties, um, especially given how Andrew Tate has been, you know, yeah, he went to jail for a little bit, but he, he's been free for most of this time. And it doesn't look like these charges are going to stick despite how valid they are. So that leads me to think he has some uh, higher profile people looking out for him. So I don't know what to do with this. You know what I mean? I also think there is the concept of controlled opposition where you know you take somebody and you make them look like they're the the freedom fighter or they're the 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 one rogue individual i think that's part of uh, your orange man's marketing to get in the politics space which we, we won't too much more um so that could be a play too uh, i think that was even that play a little bit with the the kanye or the yay situation so i don't know what's going on with ryan garcia i don't know if he's gonna fight again um, but he's having a lot of issues with a lot of powerful people. I wish him the best. Ryan Garcia did not off himself. Um, and this is sad. I am a fan of Ryan Garcia. And Ryan Garcia kind of started this channel. This channel was a backup channel for my original channel because I was Shadow Man. And I started it as a sports channel because of talking about the Ryan Garcia tank fight and some of the fallout from that fight. And now there was a lot made even on this channel. Uh, and others about whether or not he and you can probably hear my dog come in. It's just gonna, I'm just gonna have to keep that in. Um, if you can't hear it, but um, there was something made of how Ryan Garcia, yes, body shots can cripple you. I'm not trying to um, say a, I can take a body shot from Tank and not go down and, <laughs> and not be up in 10 seconds, but Ryan Garcia hopped up right after the count, and that was suspicious. So, some people said, Did he give up? What, what was going on there? Um, a lot of people answer back, well, no, body shots are, are vicious, which is like, no, 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 I get that. But if it was so vicious, why did he get up right at 10? You know what I mean? He, he wasn't holding himself after. He got up right at 10 and looked to be, you know, within within reason in pretty good shape. So, like, that was suspicious. And now you're wondering, you know, were you, uh, you know, a pawn in that situation, Mr. Garcia? Was that what happened? And now you're, you know, going out of the program and going away from the, the system? I don't know. But I had to throw that out there, too. I had to throw that out there, too. Because um, this is, you know, this is crazier than just boxing. So what do you think of this craziness? If you like the video, please like the video. If you're so obliged to share and subscribe, please do that. Please also leave comments. Please let me know what you think about Ryan Garcia versus the Illuminati. And even if you do none of these things, thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Good night and God bless. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.